All right, so there's a bunch of characters that got small changes, so let's run through them quickly. Uh, JP, his standing medium punch. Small number of changes, not small changes, because we're gonna get into it. Uh, JP is standing medium punch now, this builds him a little bit more drive, that's fine. There is a change to his OD uh, shadows, and that is just a bug fix uh, to match the visuals. It doesn't really affect the gameplay, so that is fine. Here is the big one. Here is a big one, as Terry says, and this one is huge. I, I I can't believe Capcom did this actually. So when when you were blocking uh, the GP level two super, Parry was one of the best options. You got some punish counter grabbed, and that was it. Now he gets combos out of that. See this? Like I still uh, I still he still gets a combo of this of this situation. That's that's actually crazy. Number one. So like one of the remaining consistent options against this, which is like, all right, I'm just gonna take the punch counter grab. That now also give JP combos. That is a tremendous buff to this level two. One that I honestly don't believe. <laughs> like I can't believe how strong this is. Uh, the final change is a change to his level three, where uh, like now it hits more upwards, so it's more consistent in general. Like this is that sort of situation where maybe prior it would have whiffed, uh, but now it connects. So crazy changes for JP. I'm not gonna lie, like I'm shocked they actually buffed that level two. Uh, I saw JP just was in a very good position now. Like the number of legend JP players skyrocketed, but uh, Capcom seems pretty intent on bringing him back. All right, so next up we got DJ, and DJ got buffs across the board. Uh, his jumping knee, they made it uh, so that this one now uh, build him a little bit more drive. A lot of characters got similar changes, so that's cool. Uh, they also changed his target combo, the medium bunch, medium bunch. As you know, there is a follow-up. Like you can just do it and stop. You can go for the heavy bunch, or you can press back and heavy, and he does this feint. And this now happens a little bit faster. You still do get interrupted. Like obviously is a heavy one-shot frame trap, but if I go for the feint here, I got counter hit. Uh, but Briar, uh, people could just like OD reversal, and if you just did that uh, and just went for the feint, you were always getting punished. Now he gets to block. Now he can feint, uh, kind of safer. The opponent have to call it out with a hit, which means that they are susceptible uh, to fall for the third board. So that is a pretty interesting buff for him. Uh, they also changed his up kicks so that they are better anti airs. Uh, pretty much extended the headbox uh, because it, it was re it was kind of like reduced in the start of the season. So they are making sure that they are better as an anti air. Extended the hurt box for the first hit, especially as an anti air. Uh, sway overhead this got buffed both ways uh, obviously as you know in the prior batch if you got the punish counter it became like a wall a ground bounce uh, so you could get like follow-ups after that hey 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 right and get combo follow-ups now they are left closer to you so it's easier to get the follow-up but they also buffed the od version as you know prior uh, the main combo with dj would be something like this this is like his main bread and butter and this did like almost like 30, uh, 600. But now, uh, after the OD medium kick launcher, let's, like, let's, let's, uh, let's actually just show it instead of just talking about it. See, he gets this now. And this almost did 3800. So this is a straight out damage buff for DJ. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird seeing DJ do like a different combo than the one we're used to. But this is just a strict upgrade. He now gets more damage right so that is a pretty cool damage buff to him as he nerfed his damage in the start of the season so they are slowly and i saw this with luke as well where they are slowly giving them some of their damage back all right so let's go over as uh, changes to honda honda and this game was very much centered around headbutt butt slam and that really affected his tier placement and how his blade in general how he's looked at and capcom is really trying to change that uh they pretty much did a lot to this move his like the sumo walk i guess that's called uh, this is pretty much the patch for honda as uh, he made his heavy bunch uh now up close it's gonna be plus one instead of minus one and this is to get the launcher to work uh, because previously you had to cancel like the first hit of heavy kick 
to get this to launch uh, if you're going for a heavy bunch it had to be like from a drive rush or you're just going for like the od version right but now straight up heavy bunch into sumo walk this will launch her now so that's actually really good for him he gets to reserve his bar and you know like you're getting the first like the full damage of the heavy bunch uh, the issue with the heavy kick is that you're canceling off of the first hit only so this is a damage buff and he gets to reserve meter uh, that's great uh, this move uh, they also buffed it on block where now like there is more pushback and uh see this like the pushback here is really good sets up a really weird scenario but also on incoming uh they reduced a lot of the hurt box around his arm and his feet so that it's harder to stuff honda uh when he's approaching you so that's interesting uh the move the ex version the first two hits now it's plus three on block instead of plus two and this is significant because we also buffed his command grab now it's six frame startup instead of five uh or instead of seven so the idea here is you do that heavy bunch bam bam you are plus three which means that the command grab will frame trap and beat jab mashing so say for example here that cam is gonna mash her light punch she blocks this bam i still get to grab her that is 2.4k so it's it's a buff to that specific situation right um they are just in general buffing like the meter gain as well when you happen to land the attack so general buffs a lot of characters got changes like that and his uh level two super buffed the invincibility on it uh, so that it is it's like entirely projectile invincible so it's just like bug fix the move is projectile invincible anyway but this is just like a bug fix Will all of this make Honda better? Uh, I think it obviously it should, like, because at least that heavy bunch, because this one is impactful, but he, he's gonna be better. Um, will, will it stop Honda players from just be, be, like using him as a headbutt butt slam machine? I don't know. Uh, but it's clear that Capcom wanna shift the focus into many of his other moves uh, to kind of buff his overall viability. Aki is also another character that got really small changes uh, in this patch. Uh, they buffed her heavy bunch so that now this is building her a little bit more drive. Uh, very very common in this patch. Most characters books are now uh, better. Uh, standing heavy bunch. This is when you activate the toxic uh, blossom. Uh, on this activation, uh, the jugger here should be a little bit better. Uh, so for example, I know that after like an OD fireball, bam, uh, you now get like drive rush normals. I'm not sure which exactly like combo follows ups uh you're getting out of that but they, they improved it uh they also changed uh her heavy like demon flip and this is also like very targeted so that like when you hit an opponent out of that uh, say that you hit them out of the air uh, like you can get this uh like on the ground a little bit more consistently right so I, I imagine these two might work together in a way, uh, but obviously, like, uh, you have to be, like, the combo expert on Aki to know, like, exactly what changed here. But small buffs uh, probably doesn't help her in the big picture, but many of her bad matchups, like Kami and Akuma, got nerfed, so she's probably gonna end up in a much better position in this batch. Now let's quickly go over the changes to Guile, uh, not much really have changed, uh, this one builds him a little bit more drive, uh, <laughs> it's already like a fantastic move because it is like, uh, it's obviously like plus on hit and he gets a combo follow up, so a little bit more drive gauge out of that one. And uh, when you happen to do the Sonic Cross into the blade, uh, the wall splat is now longer, so it's easier to get follow-ups out of that. Uh, I think I was already in a good spot, and these changes, like, they are small buffs, but I don't think they're gonna matter that much in the grand scheme. So Rashid, uh, obviously one of the better characters in the game, and most of his nerfs, I would say, are in line with what many of the other characters uh, got as well, uh, so... Uh, yeah, uh, standing heavy kick this now builds him a uh, more drive gauge pretty much standard with uh, What many other characters got where their pokes are now giving them like more drive uh, They changed his run into like a uh, slight thing where uh, there's more scaling now if you start to combo with that one uh, Because uh, in the previous patch they made it so that like uh, you can uh, combo after it so now uh, that is scaled a little bit. So uh, interesting change, interesting, but it's not that significant uh, since you typically like don't start combos with it that much, right? Uh, this one is pretty big. Uh, OD spinning mixer, spinning mixer. So now they are left at a more awkward distance and there is uh, less advantage. Uh, 
it's harder for him to like, like, like let's make it so that um, DJ is waking up with a jab. I want to see, does he just outright not get any Oki? Or can he still... Oh yeah, it's, it's rough. Yeah. Like, I can't even get like a drive rush jab here. Yeah, so pretty much no Oki, it seems like. And he got like... Yeah, his jab came out, so... Uh, he doesn't get like a guaranteed situation anymore and also obviously like they were able to like set up like a level 2 afterwards where they will do it and then great desert storm um, so the situation isn't that fantastic afterwards that actually that actually to me makes sense uh, because obviously this was a uh, really really good like his situation afterwards just like what they did with Ken and Kami uh, they're trying to nerf like the strengths of the reversal options speaking of uh, his level 1 super, when you use it now, uh, it's only plus 1. This actually make him do that. So no Oki whatsoever on this, especially when he gets like the grounded hit like that. Uh, obviously this is an invincible super, this is really fast. And this switch sides, so they don't want him to switch side, put you in the corner and then he gets Oki, uh, that would be too much. Uh, they also changed this, apparently it used to be able to go through drive reversals. Uh, I wanna see if that still works. So let's, let, let's make him block everything. It doesn't seem to be doing it anymore. Not really sure if I've seen that situation to be honest, but apparently they said it went through drive reversals and doesn't anymore, uh, so that's the nerf. Overall, uh, he's in a fantastic position because most of the other characters that are really strong got nerfed harder than him, way harder. Uh, so all things considered, Rashid is gonna be in a fantastic bliss.